So first things first, I want to thank y'all for getting me to 400,000 subscribers. I feel like we was at 300K forever. If you're not subbed, please sub. I appreciate all of you guys. Right now, y'all, as y'all see, I'm on the road right now. I'm headed to the airport. I'm about to fly out to Boston. I heard Boston got some crazy Italian food, bruh. They got this, this park called Little Italy or something. I don't know. Apparently, they got some good food out there. Never been to Boston before. Headed there right now. We're going to see what's good with it. All right, y'all, so we at the airport right now. I'm not going to lie to y'all. You already know I'm kind of nicked up, bro. I don't really like planes like that, but I got to do this, bro. I can't keep driving everywhere, y'all. This has got to be one of the coldest days. I already know it's going to be even colder in Boston because that's on up north. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, we up north too, but that's super duper north. That's right up there, but Maine. I'm going to Maine real soon, y'all. You already know I love them lobster rolls. I'm going to Maine to get one of them lobster rolls. Y'all, we running for the bus right now. Look, we running for the bus. I ain't do this in a long time. Y'all, I ain't running for the bus since I was in high school. I used to stay running for the bus. Stay running for it. <laughs> I don't even know if they're oh, going to let us on. Oh, we going back here? Yeah. We on that. Y'all, I used to catch the bus everywhere I went, bro. I used to have to run for the bus. Sometimes the bus drivers used to be a-holes, bro. They would see you running and still leave you. Remember them days? Yeah. Y'all, I'm actually the one who taught her how to ride the bus, didn't I? Yeah, I ain't ride no bus. Bruh, I taught her how to do all of that stuff. I ain't gonna lie, she she caught the bus to my house, bro. Literally, bruh, this is when I was down bad, bro. I had no furniture in my house, no nothing. What was I sleeping on? The floor. Bruh, I was, sleep, I was sleeping on the floor or air mattress, bruh. And the thing is, what, what kind of TV did I have? A box. I bruh, was used to that. I had one of them old TVs from like, the 90s or something, bro. Everybody had flat screens, bro. I had one of them old TVs, bro. And the TV was on the floor, bro. The bed was on the floor, and the TV was on the floor. No furniture in the house at all. What was my stepdad sleeping on? The floor. Where we, we was all sleeping on the floor, bro. You know what I'm saying? Imagine bringing your girl to your house, bro, and you got nothing in there. You feel me? The jump. You, know, you scared to fly? No. You do this? I'm not scared. Oh, you got balls, paws. They say touch to begin. Y'all, hopefully we can sit together. This y'all pack. We in the way back like Rosa Parks. You see it. So we in Boston right now. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro. I don't know much about Boston. I do know about the Boston Tea Party. We threw some tea out in the ocean. Had some niggas mad. But we in Boston for the first time. We gonna see what's up with it. I'm trying to stay at the tip there. You know what I'm saying? See if my boy Mr. Mosby still work there. We got all these stickers right here, y'all. I had to add my tag. All right, y'all. So we gonna pull up in this little Malibu real quick. You see what's going on. So, so far, just looking at it, y'all, Boston's a pretty nice city. Like, look at the atmosphere, y'all. Real nice atmosphere. So, first things first, I'm about to hit this little Boston Tea Party Museum real quick. Got the little museum in the cut. We're going to see what's good with that. How you doing? Woo! And that's how I actually signed my Can I get two tickets? It's uh, $34 each. Last time I seen folks dressed like this, I was getting some chicken at the Dutch market. So we getting on the boat right now, y'all. We about to dump the tea out there real quick, right? You know what I'm saying? We beefing right now. Y'all see this tea? Oh, hey, hey. Fuck that tea, dog. That's how I'm coming. All right, y'all, so I'm about to try some of this famous Boston Tea Party tea real quick. It's $3.99 to taste that historical tea. All right, y'all, I got that historical tea. I got apple raspberry tea. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The tea here has no sweetener whatsoever. So the tea is extremely like tart, extremely tart, bitter. I guess this is how real authentic tea is made. If you're from the UK, let me know in the comment section, do y'all put sugar in y'all tea? Because over here at the Boston Tea Party spot, they don't put sugar in their tea. Yeah, it doesn't taste good. I see why we threw this shit out in the ocean. It's nasty. 
I got a question for you. What's up, bro? What they doing over there, bro? I bro. see everybody in green, dog. I'm trying to go over there. What they doing over there? They partying? Yeah. What kind of party? Uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend. Oh, yeah. It's but crazy. No, one, no one here is the Irish, bar, though. Woo! What's good? This is just an excuse to drink, honestly. Oh, they got the fancy trash cans. They don't got this around the way. You feel me? But then again, people don't even use trash cans around the way. They just throw it on the floor. They deep out here, y'all, at the Luckies. Hey, is it lit in the Luckies? Is it lit in this zone? What, what they be doing in this zone? Uh, it's just uh, some yeah, light. Typical bar. Typical yeah, bar. Hey, I almost fell on the steps. Damn, you see that? So y'all seen the vibes that they was on in that jump, bro. They partying off the early in Boston, bro. You seen it. What time is it? Three o'clock. It's three o'clock. And they, it's like a nightclub in that jump. They in that jump going crazy. So far, y'all, I'm feeling Boston. Other cities, they cool. Like, but this one is a straight vibe. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, you see it. All right, y'all. So we at Quincy's Market right now. It's still deep out here. You see what's going on. Hold up, y'all. They getting busy. What in the Quincy's Market should we try to eat? What's good up in here? Oh, man. I mean, usually, like, in here, you know, they got the New England clam chowder. Uh, I think the lobster rolls are Lobster rolls are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna try Boston and Maine chowder real quick, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a lobster roll real quick. See what's up with it. So apparently this little Boston and Maine spot right here, they got some crazy clam chowder and they got some good lobster rolls, y'all. I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. I never even had clam chowder a day in my life. They said this is a hot butter lobster roll, y'all. I paid $35 for this little combination right here, and it better be torch. We got the clam chowder. I've never had clam chowder a day in my life. You see it? It's really good? You, you made this? He made this. Is it good? You the chef. Your name's Patrick? Okay, my man. He made it, dog. Patrick made this real quick. We gonna see if it's good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Look, I've never had clams in my life. Dead ass serious. Never had it in my life. It always reminds me of like. Broccoli and cheddar. I don't know if you guys have ever had broccoli and cheddar soup, but that's what this broth is tasting like. The clams don't really have much of a flavor to them. They don't. They taste like nothing. All I'm all I'm tasting is like the cheesy broth. That's all I taste is cheesy broth. Wow. The clams are soft, and it's not bad, honestly. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. No English. No English, I know, but I'm gonna tell you the truth real quick. Spanish? No, I'm speaking. I don't know. It's good though. Yummy. Yeah, dank. Delicious. Delicioso. Delicioso. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. If it was nasty, I would tell you. It's just not bad. My man. Thank you. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Patrick put his foot in this shit. Now we got the lobster roll. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon on this. Apparently this is a hot butter lobster roll. You see the butter all over the bread. All over it. You know, Boston is kinda close to Maine. They say that this is real Maine lobster. One of these days we are gonna go to Maine, we are gonna try an actual authentic lobster roll from Maine. We are gonna try this for today. 
It's small, it's buttery, and it's delicious. I love a good lobster roll, y'all. Is this right here worth $35? I think so. Because you got the lobster roll, packed with lobster. You get the soup, and you get a Pepsi. King with a baby. Can't forget the bath. This lobster roll right here, it's gonna get a nine out of 10. The lobster is so tender, you guys. I hate overcooked lobster, it's all rubbery. Take care, man. This right here is cooked to satisfaction. And that butter. That butter! That butter's crazy. Is it good? What does it taste like? Potato soup. Potato soup? It's a potato soup. Hey, right. yes, Shout out Pete. Shout, Shout out Pete. Subscribe. Let's go. So this place is full of restaurants, y'all. But I'm going to save my appetite for that Italian food. If you ever in Boston, y'all, try that lobster roll. It was on TikTok. What up, y'all? He's the evil Keith Lee. <laughs> yeah, my man got the chains on. <laughs> like Flavor Flav. <laughs> hey, bro, where you get that joke from? Uh, I got it at the garden, at the game. At the game? Yeah. My man got the flavor of love. <laughs> my boy making balloon animals and all that. What's yeah, that? Bobo. That's Bobo? Bobo across Cambridge. Oh, man, that look like a, that look like two ball sacks look, that's and, a, gonna be the and something else. Look me up, Bobo the Clown Cambridge. Oh, yeah, that thing looking sus. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Yeah, thanks for watching. My boy out here making balloon dildos and shit. Oh, hell to the knob. Yes, I made some money. Yes, I made some money. Yes, I made some money. She got me in Sephora right now, y'all. I don't think I've ever been in Sephora before. I ain't even know this place was for cosmetics. Dead serious. What you looking for? Lip liner. Lip liner? We about going to a little gift shop real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the kids both a lobster, y'all. Always gotta grab the kids a little souvenir for the travels. You already know. Hello. How you doing today? It's crazy. When you go to Maryland, all you see is crabs everywhere. Out here, you see lobsters everywhere. And the thing is, I thought Maine was known for the lobster. Why they got lobsters everywhere in Boston? She just got threw up on. Yeah, there's she threw up on her skirt. What the? Oh no! Nah. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know it happens. Rolling with the punches. Damn. It just happens. Yeah. Yeah. It's New England. Yeah, it's New England. yeah, it's yeah that's just what it is. Welcome it's to Boston. The mess we make. Uh, Y'all see what's going on out here? Bras getting vomited on and all that. What's going on? I hate Donald Trump. Wait, get the other side. <laughs> Y'all see what's going on in Boston right now. They're expressing their hate for the former president. Holy fucking shit. So since we've been paying for parking everywhere, we decided to just walk to the Italian restaurant, y'all. So we walking right now. Tiny little strip. Look like something from a movie, y'all. Yeah. Once again, more oyster bars, yeah. pizza restaurants, all that type of stuff. Like I said, bruh, oysters are everywhere. Oh, 
this whole entire strip looks historical. As y'all see, we at the Dino's, and apparently this is that real authentic Italian food, bro. We gonna see what's up with it. So how long have you guys been in business over here? It's 24 years. 24 years? Yes. And everything's like homemade? Hallelujah, yes. Hey, I hear this is some top tier Italian food. It is the, it's the fact. Top tier? Absolutely. We gonna see what's up with it real quick, y'all. He's gonna take us in the kitchen. Come here. I'm allowed to go back there? Yes. Say hi. How you doing? So off rip, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This place got great hospitality. The owner over there, the owner's real cool, y'all. Real nice. He even brought out a little table for her to put her bag on. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is what the chicken parmesan sub is looking like. And as y'all see, the sub is big enough to share. I got half, she got half, and we gonna be good. The bread is nice and toasted and the chicken's crispy. Nice and cheesy, just the way I like it. Let's dig in. So cheesy. It's nice and crispy. I'm loving the toast on the bread. I was thinking that the marinara sauce is going to be tart, but the marinara sauce isn't tart, it's nice and sweet. I love sweet sauce. This is definitely a good chicken parmesan sandwich. One of the best I've ever had. Solid 10 out of 10. Now we got some spinach pesto cream ravioli. And y'all know I love pesto. So the ravioli is good. It's extremely thick. It only comes with five raviolis, but you'll get full because of how thick it is. They don't skimp you if you know what I mean. Ravioli gets a solid eight. So the food was good. And it was kind of hard for me to give you guys like in detail of the food. It was really noisy in there. But the place is, the place is hitting. Bro. Like I said, probably like the best uh, chicken parmesan sub I've ever had. Junk was crispy. Junk was crunchy. Junk was sweet. Savory. Rich. Delicious. And everything else. You know what I mean? Everything else. Now I'm about to try some authentic wood fire brick oven pizza, y'all. They say this spot got the authentic stuff, so we gonna find out. All right, y'all, I'm gonna take a quick shot real quick while I wait, you know what I'm saying, wait for my pizza. All right, y'all, got a little tequila shot. I got the pizza, and we gonna see what's good with this real quick, y'all. They normally say that New York got the top tier pizza, but this little Italy spot right here, Italian restaurants everywhere. So you already know it's about to be tour. Everybody got pizza. You know what I'm saying? It's the pizza city. I got the pizza. Woo! That crust is nice and toasty. You see how it's looking, y'all. We in Boston right now. Nice slab of pizza. This is a nice pie right here. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The pizza is super thin. Super duper thin. The pizza sauce is delicious. However, you don't get enough of it. It's too thin. Thin crust. It's like paper, dog. All you getting is cheese. Barely any, barely any dough. You're not getting no crust. Yeah. But what I will say to y'all is, the flavor is good. You want to try me the pizza? Yeah. All right, look. We gonna see what he think about it. Y'all wanna try it? Yeah, I wanna it's try it. It's a whole pizza, man. I'm not gonna eat this. Let me know what y'all think. Thanks, dude. Yeah, anytime, man. I think it's good. That's good. It's good? It's yeah. Good. I think it's good. It's not too thin? 
It's, it's a, a little thin, maybe it's a little. I might need to a little. It's sorry though. It's a little burnt. Seven out of ten. It's a little burnt. Seven out of ten. Yeah, it got that burnt in. But they say it's it's, it's brick oven. Not as crispy as it should be though. I can what? taste that. Yeah. I can taste that. Not bad. Good. 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 All right. Thank you. Nice Take care, man. So look, y'all. You heard what he said about a seven. He right. It's about a seven. Ain't the best pizza I've ever had. It's decent. I don't know. You want to try a piece of pizza? Huh? Want to try a piece of pizza? It's brand new. Right. Let me know what you think about this. Right. I'll take a slice. Go ahead. You're pro. You want to slice Appreciate the pizza? It. I got one slice left. It's brand new. Sir. Let me know what you think. Five. Five? Five. He's scared to eat. He took a baby bite. I ain't going to oh, poison. God. Look, oh, I ain't God. that type of nigga. Well, I'm about to eat right now. I'm trying to save my stomach. What you mean? Look. Yeah. He took a baby bite there for some fentanyl in that shit. I ain't put no fentanyl in that shit. So yeah, y'all. The Dino's place is top tier. I'm messing with the Dino's. This pizza right here. Pizza mediocre. It's not It's not the best pizza I've ever had. It's not the worst. It do what it do. 7 out of 10. I probably wouldn't get it again if I was in the area. So we back at the airport, y'all. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I wish I would have got a hotel and stayed out here. Boston lit. Out of all the cities that I've been to, this has got to be the best one. It's a vibe out this jump. So I'm back in Maryland right now. Just landed. Do me a favor. Like and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, you guys. We're going to try to hit a million this year. Let me know the next city y'all want me to go to. The food in your city. And I'm going to fly out there.